Valentine's Day is approaching and romance is in the air. Or it could be if you booked a flight and planned a trip to take a sweetie on an adventure. Oh, it'd be so great. That's right. What could be more romantic than our friend, travel expert, Lee Evamonti. He's uh, been traveling the world, but he decided to grace us with his presence today in Las Vegas. Just, Hello. It's his job hey, to travel the world. Nothing it's says romance like me. Yeah. Wow. Well, actually, there please was... make that your Instagram bio. Uh, <laughs> we dare you, just just for this month. I like it. I like it. That's good. Where have you been since we've seen you last? Uh, let's see. I was in Africa. I was in Ethiopia and Somalia, Mogadishu. Wow. Uh, to be exact. Whoa. Uh, lovely place, by the way. Um, let's see. I was in Hawaii for two weeks, and it actually rained for a week, which was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, yeah, actually, um, took a little bit of time off for the holidays too. So it's, I was back Good. in New York, and uh, now I'm back here in the desert, and uh, wow. loving it. This weather is just perfection, no doubt. Isn't it? Perfect. It's so nice. Well, let's right, let's get into some of these destinations. You mentioned yeah. Hawaii, Maui. I mean, when you think of Hawaii, you think romance. That's a romantic destination. Yeah, really. I mean, honeymoons, weddings, and. I mean, for me, Maui is like the perfect place in America. It's probably my favorite place in America, and I've been going there. This is my tenth straight year going there, and I love it. And uh, yeah, like these pictures. That's me right there. Handsome gentleman that I am. Of course. Is that you? Oh, I. Behind us, who what is that? He's got the, the, the screen up, and, and it's him in the pool because he does. Yeah, he doesn't do clip art. So everybody. Can I, be, can I be honest with you? you so may. I love Hawaii. Yep. Like it's my husband and I's favorite place to travel to. But Maui, I feel like, can be a bit touristy. So how do you go about Maui in a way that you? Love. Well, actually, I mean, you can see right there, that's kind of like my happy place. Yeah. That's uh, the, the pool at the Four Seasons Maui, which to me is like the greatest hotel in America. And if you mm. stay in some of the nice resorts, you're pretty isolated from everybody else. I mean, you, mm -hmm. you think Maui's touristy. Look at Waikiki. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, well, sure. So, but, yeah, I mean, no, for sure. They're all really nice. I mean, Kauai is great, um, as long as it doesn't rain like it did for me for four straight days. Oh, and yeah. I love Kauai, <laughs> but it, it, that's why it's so green, It's right? a good one. No. And, and Lanai is amazing as well, and a lot of people actually don't go there. If you want to be isolated, go to Lanai. Uh, there's some great hotels there and nice. beautiful, like, nature. Rent a car and go to the other side of the island. There's literally no people. Nice. So, you know, this we're supposed to be talking about romance today, so I'm just <laughs> curious, because you're, you're trying traveling as a single man most of the time, right? So do you, do you ever, uh, you know, do you ever meet ladies as you travel? Obviously you meet ladies as you travel. I, uh, I mean, I meet lots of people when I travel, yeah. but um, if I'm traveling with the special lady, then I do no such thing. There, oh, nice. You're really keeping your lips well, tight. Well, here's, what do you here's know? how he's able to travel, is because he's single. He doesn't have to pay for anyone else. It's great. It's I'm not single, just unmarried. Oh, oh you're unmarried? <laughs> right, that's fine. It's go. good. It's, it's, right. it's fine. Right. Got you. Uh, so, which is kind of great, because don't you think absence makes the heart grow fonder? If I you mean, have somebody at home. Yeah, I mean, uh, mm. with my lifestyle, there's no other way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's blushing. I love this. this I know. Uh, Turks and Caicos, you love. Yeah, I was just actually there in November. What a great place. Um, that's the view from actually oh, my uh, hotel balcony at the Shore Club, wow. which is kind of isolated from the uh, the rest of the, the touristy hotels on the other side of the island. Uh -huh. So this is basically the only resort on this beach, which is incredible, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Turks and Caicos, the best beaches in the Caribbean and some of the best in the world. It's like why fly halfway around the world to go to the Seychelles and you could just fly down in the Caribbean three yeah. hours from New York. I mean, five or six hours from Vegas. It's, uh, it's great. No doubt. I tell you, you have so much advice and so much experience. People ought to just, I'm, I know because I follow you on Instagram, I see how many people reply to your posts, but people ought to just, uh, you know, message you on Instagram or Twitter. Oh my God, you, look should at see, you should see how many messages I get. It's just I appalling. know. Wow. <laughs> I uh, know. One day in Lee's uh, DMs, um, that would be a They could do a reality show about, like, Instagram DMs. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously? It's embarrassing. Um, Sean has a dream of going to I Japan. I want to go to Japan in the worst way. You went to Kyoto. Yeah, I was there in October for uh, for two weeks. It's wonderful, and I'm thinking about going again for the Olympics. Oh. Uh, Kyoto is as good as you want it to be. It's always voted like the most livable city in the world. It's wow. just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it has those bamboo gardens. It has the mm. uh, the uh, the gates stuff and incredibly and clean, super safe. Clean. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. It's, it, Japan is. There's no crime, none, zero. It's like the safest place in the world. They're in Singapore. I mean, you really can't get any safer than those two places. Really? Japan, Japan is like a microcosm of what every country desires to be. It's 
it's so clean, it's so safe, and the people are so nice. The food is amazing. Everything's immaculate. It's Huge really pride. just a perfect place. To the point where even if, the, if they're visiting for another country for the Olympics or whatever, if they're there to cheer on Japan and they have some trash in their section, they will clean up their section. Yeah, it's so clean. It's, it's awesome. awesome. It's so efficient. Yeah. Everyone yeah. takes pride in their jobs, whether you're a street sweeper yep. or like, you know, a banker. Everyone takes so much pride in what they do, and that's really nice to see because in America, it's not always like that. Not I always, love yeah. that. <laughs> you know what? We can be inspired by them, though. Um, before we go, and we're out of time really quick but I wanted to show up there was a picture of you I mean you know we're talking about Valentine's Day and romance and I usually see you in travel gear but I thought wow <laughs> look at you what what event was this this year Lee? oh that was the uh, the TPG Awards in New York the uh, points about, guy? about a month ago yeah exactly. yes there we go <laughs> and uh, yeah I've been uh, the last couple of years and I uh, do some work with them and uh, they're good people over there yes you look you look great in a tux well thank you I clean up well travel <laughs> points he's doing right. Lee, Lee Abamonte everybody he's everywhere slide in his DMs and follow uh, Lee Abamonte com is social uh, he's there too and uh, you know he's, maybe maybe he'll take you on a trip probably not but you can try <laughs>